Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called F You by Miley Cyrus. And we're going to end up cabling this on third fret to match the recording, but we're going to start out on an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the D string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And on the intro, you'll kind of hear just this blocking idea, or you might want to kind of work kind of down, down, up, so repeated, you know, kind of, kind of get some sound going on. And then from the E minor, then we end up going to a C major chord. And when you play C major, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger goes to the D string on the second fret, and third finger goes to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to a B7 chord on our intro. And the way you play B7, the first finger is going to go to the D on the first fret, second finger on the A string, second fret, third finger on the G string, second fret, and the pinky on the high E string on the second fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a B7 chord, and it sounds really, really nasty. Kind of, kind of do those chords right before we kind of go into our main verse. So, so you may want to kind of do that as just downs, or you may want to kind of take that down up idea, almost like a tremolo picking kind of idea, and kind of wait for those changes to the C, the B7. And then from there, then we go into our main verse. And our main verse starts on E minor. But then we go to an A minor chord, and when you play A minor, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret. Second finger on the D string, second fret, and the third finger on the G string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to the B seven chord, and then we go back to E minor. And on our first verse, we we do that twice, and then we kind of end up with a big build up on the B seven, and then back to E minor. Now the weird thing about this tune though is it, it's in four, but you kind of feel each beat as three. So what, what you may want to do timing wise is kind of just try like a lot of, of downs, but kind of grouping them in groups of three, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And if we do that four times, then that's kind of ends up being our measure is kind of E minor, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve kind of idea. So we got A minor. up a lot of those, those pieces until we get to our, our bridge part. On our bridge part we kind of go to the B7 and then we go to the E minor and we end up doing that, that two times. You know, that B7, E minor, and then we go back to B7 one more time. Now the weird part is to play along with Miley Cyrus, instead of starting on an E minor chord, she's actually starting on a G minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 3rd fret, then now your E minor is really a G minor chord, your C major is really an E flat major, your B7 is really a D7, and when we get to it, the A minor is really a C minor chord. But you may want to kind of kick it off with kind of that intro, just to take from the very beginning. And you've got those E minors, and you may want to kind of, kind of do just down notes. And I'm doing a little bit of muting with the right hand, so I'm kind of taking the right hand and kind of laying it down on top of the strings. And then you got your C major. And then we got our B7. Before we go into our, our first verse. So then we tried our verse kind of working just those, those four groups of three downs on each chord. We have E minor. Seven is kind of like a verse tag. And then 
mixing up our verse forms. So we got our A minor, A minor. challenging is doing a down down up down up kind of on uh, instead of doing just the three downs on each one so just to try that a little bit you can take the E minor just try that down down up down up down down up 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 so so if you're quick enough you can kind of get that to fit in kind of doing the down down up down up four times on each chord so we try that through our next verse we have E minor Something else I'd think about adding to the song too is bass notes. And if you're kind of digging on that down, down, up, down, up, you can make it a bass down, up, down, up on some of those chords. Actually. So on the E minor, you'd have the low E for your bass. On the A minor, you'd have the A string for your bass. On the C, you'd have the A for the bass. And on the B7, you'd have the A string for the bass. So we tried that next chorus with kind of a bass down, up, down, up. Bass down up down up or bass down up down up down down up down up bass down up down up down down up down up on each chord. Try to adding basses to that next chorus. Then we have the E minor, A minor, B seven A B. Try that out through our bridge part. We have the B7. E minor. B7 A bass. B7 A bass. B7 A bass. And then from there, then we'll be going into our last chorus. And what you may want to do is kind of even mix up between all those different ideas that we were talking about. Cyrus. So good luck.